Hey everybody, I am the Creative Lady and this is Nappy Licious TV, my natural hair and beauty channel. But today is kind of a vlog channel. Um, I'm making rotel for my family and I was thinking about something and I wanted to stop and um, ask my question of the day. I haven't done that in a while in this vlogtober. And so my question of the day was, I got the idea in a way from a lot of things, but watching uh, Wendy Williams, I was watching her like a couple of episodes ago. I recorded it because BET Honey, after she cut up last year talking about HBCU, pushed her to one o'clock in the morning and being on vacation. <laughs> I've been sleeping past the time that she comes on live. So I actually had to set the DVR to watch. Um, I think Deborah Cox was going to be on there talking about the. Uh, bodyguard musical that's coming to the state and so I actually watched the episode last night and it made me think about something that I have been thinking all the time and my is she and Deborah Cox were talking about fame and how Deborah has managed to you know maintain a healthy balance and how when she joined I think Arista back in the day Whitney Houston was one of uh, the talent that Clive Davis was working with and so that uh, it felt like Deborah didn't get any of the um, spotlight or attention because everything was focused over on Whitney but um, and so they were talking about fame and think family and things of that nature and Deborah Cox said something and I'll try to find the video and link it down below uh, something that solidified what I have been thinking all along about fame and what she said was, you can have a couple of choices, and I'm paraphrasing. You can have a couple of choices in that you can uh, sell your soul and be successful. Or you can just, you know, do it the other way and just take the long way home, you know. And so I've often thought about that. I've often thought that fame has a high price. And a lot of people will do anything for it i think anything i think from celebrity hollywood people all the way down to the regular youtuber who wants fame and so my question is think about it think of all the talented people that you know that sing in your church or that you know in real life that do something great but because there is a gatekeeper to success they are still singing in the church choir maybe, maybe by, by choice but you know you often think man so and so has such a beautiful voice they could be famous you know what i mean but i feel like hollywood does have a casting couch and a gatekeeper and it has trickled down in my opinion to youtube and so it's it's easy to see because a lot of times you as youtubers um we're uploading videos and it might take forever to get a few views and some people upload a video and in the first little bit no. they got you know 10,000 views did I tell you I was making Rotel? yeah but anyway I gotta add a little milk cause honey I've been running my trap and it got a little dry I got the recipe to this over on my cooking channel and I'll leave that link over below but but um but yeah I do think that people will do just about anything for fame and get upset when it doesn't happen as fast as they want on their terms and so the question is so my question is how much would you do for fame or is there a limit to what you would do a lot of us here on youtube know that fame can come on youtube when you're making videos what's your intention do you care if you get a lot of views or do you just do it because you love it for me when you first started you know it's all about the funny cat videos or the crazy things that people were doing you know making laughs and things like that but uh when i first started uploading it was all about my natural hair journey and it wasn't even videos it was um pictures i started with, pic with pictures and even before i uploaded i um was watching other people and it wasn't that many african-american people on youtube making videos i first got started just to document my hair journey now if i knew then what I know now I would have done things differently because I have a passion for videography. I went to school and have a degree in communications which video editing and photography and videography is my passion. When I was younger as a kid I, I guess I had this vision. I could see people I felt like watching my work on a screen. Now I thought it was going to be a big screen like uh, Hollywood or whatever and it's never too late but 
my making youtube videos whatever capacity is a lifelong passion and dream and it gets me the opportunity to do it every time i upload a video i've been so lazy with video making because i work full time now you've got a lot of youtubers who work and youtube is supposed to be the full-time career i don't still don't understand how that happens i don't think people are telling the whole truth about youtube and their full-time career but because youtube some of does not pay my bills and as long as i have been on youtube it has never paid my bills like it has gotten me some nice opportunities and some things you know material things and some emotional gratification some connections to wonderful people but youtube has never made you know my life and so i don't know i that's where the gatekeeper concept comes in because i don't know that's just me uh in my opinion you can feel free to agree or disagree down below but i do think there's a gatekeeper in life whether it's youtube on your job Somebody's always, you know, saying, okay, we're going to let this many in and then not, we're going to cut it off. I do think you can make it with hard work, but everybody now with a cell phone or a flip phone, maybe not a flip phone, but, you know, with a camera can upload a video. So there's so much noise and traffic out there that it's hard for someone new and even old to get views because everybody's like, look at me, look at me. Hey, hey, don't look over there. People down in your comment section. Hey, come check out my channel. You know, it's like almost feeling like desperation because when I got started, I came, I came over from Folky and a lot of us did from picture sharing over to video. And uh, it was like a community. And this is not a bashing community video. But yeah, it was like, okay, we were a community. But, and everybody supported each other. But now, sometimes it seems like, hey, it's all about me and what I can get for me. I do understand self-preservation. However, the question still remains, what would you do for fame? For fame. Looking, looking at celebrities, sometimes so many people just wild out <laughs> once they get fame. You know, you look at Chris Brown. You look at, oh my God, this one guy, I'm telling you, he got on my nerves. I don't know, I had never seen this guy, DJ Khaled. When he was on the after show, after some award show, he kept singing the keys, the keys, the keys. I mean, he, people, they couldn't get rid of him. Then all of a sudden, I'm seeing this guy everywhere. Everywhere. So, I don't know. Anyway, y'all, let me get this uh, rotel done. And so, I want you to comment down below. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, or comments, leave them down below. And let's talk about it. Um, so, this is Vlogtober number six. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm hanging in there, y'all. So, I thank you. And if you're ever watching these back on the replay, because these videos will stay up, I have to. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Mm, I just dropped my dishcloth. Does that mean somebody's coming? Deuces, y'all. You know I'm country. Bye, y'all.